The meeting on uh, human nutrition, environment, and health uh, is the first of its kind uh, in the Keystone program. And I think it's uh, primordial to bring nutrition to the agenda of the top science uh, worldwide. Uh, nutrition has uh, the longest lifelong impact on your health. Uh, it is a very important aspect for individual, but also for personal health. And it has a strong uh, uh, aspect of sustainability also. We ho are hosting this meeting and we have assembled this program uh, not to have another nutrition meeting. So it's not about more of the same. It's really about nutrition 2.0, which means bringing nutrition forward as a systems biology science, connecting many more disciplines than just nutritionists. The significance of this meeting, uh, we believe, will lie in the translational aspect of the program. Uh, so this means uh, we will uh, discuss what are good and good means translational models to study human nutrition and metabolism and health uh, in vitro or also maybe in some animal models. What are good study designs and good means uh, what are relevant study designs uh, when you want to investigate uh, human nutrition in a clinical setting or in a free living setting. Uh, so how do you design clinical studies? Uh, this uh, includes uh, design aspects of longitudinal studies, of challenge studies uh, that complement the more classical nutrigenomic uh, designs and trial um, uh, designs that are uh, typically held in a case control fashion. These aspects all uh, focus on how do we make basic but translational nutritional science more actionable for the consumer, uh, for health optimization, or for the patient in order to manage and uh, improve, disease, improve disease status. Uh, the opportunity to hold the meeting in Beijing, and especially in conjunction with the, uh, this year's uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation Grain Challenge meeting, is of course tremendous because this latter meeting uh, focuses on uh, public health and global health and global feeding, sustainability, whereas our meeting addresses more, more the aspect of individual health. Um, and then the destination, of course, is of prime uh, importance because the uh, issues we will be addressing, uh, typically chronic diseases like uh, cognitive decline and metabolic decline, or to be more uh, concrete, diabetes, obesity, and Alzheimer's, for example, are um, uh, steeply rising in countries like China, and this is mainly due uh, also to uh, demographics. So this is a rele very relevant location. And this is also reflected by the case that uh, Nestle entertains four research centers in China. And uh, so the program, the location, and the scope of the meeting reflects uh, the prime mission of our uh, newly founded institute and uh, our engagement in, in, in areas and countries like China worldwide. For Nestle, uh, this is uh, uh, a new and first of its kind opportunity to um, to stand at the forefront of organizing uh, such a meeting on human nutrition, environment, and health, and to bring nutrition on the, uh, forth to the forefront of the agenda of global science. Uh, we have been active in this field for long. Uh, we believe that we are the leaders in nutrition, health, and wellness, uh, and have, uh, for that sake, also a responsibility to, to drive the science and to, to contribute. About the theme, it is very clear that uh, this has been close to our heart and, and operations for long. Uh, nutrition, health, and wellness is, is on top of our agenda. Uh, now we have a strong interest to uh, even underpin this with more biomedical hardcore science. So in that regard, I would certainly say it's a, it's a unique and new meeting. There, were, there may have been nutritional aspects in other themes, but a whole meeting dedicated to nutrition and whatever serves that topic is new.